Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're here for the first time and today, hmm, we are looking at the June lights that they released a couple of uh, months ago. Actually beginning with the first light, some of you don't know that Xeon started with the M40. That was the first light I got like um, in 2022. That's the light that I have here. I'm using it as a catch light behind a little dome, which is a different third party uh, dome. It just happened to fit. Uh, or rather I made it fit. We're talking about Xeon and all the lights that they have right now, beginning with the, uh, the M40, which is a 40 watt light, okay? Um, I'll show you the unboxing of that. I'll show you the unboxing of that and um, it's a nice piece um, that that is useful for to add as a feel you know for field light background light asset light rim light but in this case I'm using as a catch light and this is how I'm using it I'm gonna show you a video and I hit it behind and that's it right there. It's behind the ball. That's that. So we're going to start with the major thing. Two, the two major lights we're going to be looking at today are the Molos, the Xeon Molos X100, which is a 100 watt light, and the Xeon G60, okay? The Xeon Molos or Molus G60, okay? So, um, this is the box that it came in and I'm going to show, show you the unboxing of the device of the uh, what came, came in the box. Um, we'll check that out right now and um, it comes with a couple of accessories. There is the, it comes with, this is the combo and it comes uh, with uh, some accessories, which is a sub box, a mini sub box, very mini. <laughs> okay, it comes with a Z ZY mount, which is uh, which is this right here, and I'm going to explain a little bit. There's a difference between this and the one mount for um, the X100. So it comes with the uh, the adapter, the um, a Bowen's mount adapter. It comes with comes with a small um, diffuser, like a dome, um, like a lantern, mini lantern diffuser, which all works great, and which is what I'm using with it right now. In fact, let me let me show you how the hair light is uh, positioned right now. That's it right there. So I'm using that as a like a rim on this side, filler slash rim, okay? And then this, of course, is by, this is uh, lit by the X100X, okay? So this whole lighting system is by the Xeon. Everything you see right now is being lit by the Xeon. Absolutely everything, okay, maybe not. Uh, this is an aperture, that's the only difference. This is an aperture. It's what I use for my background anyway, um, constantly. And then this is uh, from another company. I really don't know about the company. It's just an LED um, wall unit. Okay, so those are the only uh, things that are not Xeon. But the, the key light, the fill or rim, and the catch light, I have in front of me, they are all, uh, they are all um, Xeon lights, okay? So we have the X100, the Molus X100, we have the G, the Molus G60, and then the M40, all at play. Okay, so uh, continue with the unboxing of this combo unit for the G60 Molus. Um, Let's see what else comes in. Of course, it has this uh, dish reflector. 
which makes it a mini reflector, which makes it packs a little bit more light than it's supposed to. I wish that the X 100X, uh, Molus 100X, I wish it has the same thing. I love the swivel arm that the M40 and the G60 has, okay? The, but the good thing is that when you put it on the Bowen's mount, the Bowen's mount itself has a swivel that you can make that can help you adjust it to place. I don't have a video of the unboxing of this light, so I'm gonna unbox another one. Okay, so we'll see what comes in the Molos X100. Okay, um, X100 has the right name. Now, I don't have the battery yet. This is not a combo for this guy. I don't have the combo. Um, from what I understand, the combo, the battery lasts about 30 minutes and um, that's not good enough for me yes you could do some run and gun outdoor stuff but when it dies what happens so um but it would be nice to have i just don't think um i need it so i know good thing it can be powered by um power banks so i can keep that mobile just that uh, it's not the same form factor you won't be able to have it as one unit as the original battery can can but i have uh, power banks that can go a lot longer so with a longer cable i can have it in my pocket and still have the light mobile so that's what the way that's the route i'm going that's my thought so but if you can if you want to have it i'll put the links in the description if you want to pick those up too uh, but the other things as well will be in the description so you can check them out whichever you like now what i'll tell you before we sign out i'll tell you what i use these lights for and why i'm interested in uh, um, a couple of the units now but before that let's unbox this guy so what was more important to me was uh the unit themselves and the combo for the 660 because the price is lower and um the light is smaller more portable and the light is the light output is quite enough for what i i, I use it for uh, which i will unfold to you guys later on uh, before we sign out those are the reasons so um let's see so our stuff already spilled out so we have the the reflector dish we have the battery power the cable which is a little bit too large actually for the light itself once again the um manuals and there's a service card here this is the light if you want to go the power pack route you need to you know re uh, have redundancy because um one will not be enough okay you probably want to have up to three if you're depending on that but i have um vmat batteries plus some other um solar units mobile units that i can power this guy off from so you tell me what you think about this setup i think uh, these lights are useful especially for youtube um channels but there are other applications that from time to time we will you know, talk about like short movies, you know, you want to have light, a light in the fridge, um, uh, uh, in a, like in a wardrobe, a wardrobe or in the car. Um, when driving in the car late at night, even at daytime, depending on how the sun is, uh, um, where the sun is coming from, you might want to um, fight out the sun with a, with the light so that um, you could expose right. A um, couple of applications. So um, yeah, there's a lot we can do with this light. And before I wrap it up, uh, the only other accessory that I didn't get from Xeon is the soft box, okay? I got a soft box from another company, which uh, I got through Amazon. 
I got through Amazon because they sent me for review and I really love um, the the lights, uh, the soft box, it's a mini. There are two, two things that you must know. The two adapters from the 60 and the uh, 100, they look alike, but they are not alike. One allows, one has a depth and that allows for the mount of this uh, dome but the other one is flat some of the accessories some of the accessories will work with this one but not the bowen's mount adapter the bowen's mount adapter will not so if you are getting the 60 um i would say i would say if you want to get the 60 and the 100 then get the combo for the 60 it will be cheaper then get the single unit at 20 bucks for the um adapter on this guy and get the regular 245 i think of the product itself which is the regular one i just uh, unboxed so that's that would be the way to go now the other accessories the smaller and i'll show you photos of the the clip the smaller um uh, softbox which is really tiny it's really tiny it is it fits into the 100x you know it fits into the 100x um so it can be used with that just uh, depending on what you are trying to achieve and which is very good which is which is good so you can control them with an app um the apps is still a little bit buggy but i think uh, it's pretty new so they'll uh, you know um i'll show you a little bit of my struggle with the app i set it up i was able to connect this guy and this guy at first and uh halfway down the line i don't know what i did and they went off um and i couldn't get them to connect again even to be visible okay so um i'm still working on that but besides that i know that um, these things do work with the app and it can be controlled when all goes well um i actually had the firmware update updated today i don't know if it's the the fact that i updated it but we'll figure it out and uh, come to you know talk about that maybe some other time uh, the links will be in the description if you want uh, if you're interested in this stuff um yeah you can't go wrong um i won't say this should be your first light it's great if you are just a, if you are just into youtube this is great just get this no need to go somewhere else i mean i would say get this these lights um they're portable they will keep your studio light um and uh, portable they'll keep your studio you know easy to set up and you know and all that but if you're doing commercial work you might want to have this as um, your backup unit okay or something you bring out when you want to do like product review uh, product um, photography or some niche during the major project you want to shoot this part and you will need smaller settings and smaller light then you can bring this out not like this is what you use for every major shoot no um you need it as as um option for certain situations so um this is a good start from Jiren. i love that what they did here thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe and catch us in the next video coming soon peace